Hello everybody, welcome to yet another episode of Learning Perspectives. Today we are going to deconstruct a scene from a movie called Bhavarji. And the concept that we are going to learn is about balance sheets. Abhi le diyo na. What? Good morning sir. Good morning. Kal balance sheet tayar karne ke liye kaha tha? Le aaye. मर गया। मर गया बड़े बाबू क्यों दो दिन से मांग रहे हैं लाख कोशिश करने पर भी टैली नहीं कर पाता इसीलिए आज जल्दी दफ्तर आया था सोचा था कर लूंगा लेकिन आज नौकरी गई नहीं जाएगी भाई है? बहुत दिनों से तुम्हें परेशान देख रहा था इसलिए आज जल्दी आकर ये सब खत्म कर दिया <laughs> खुश हो ना जी हाँ मैं भी खुश हूँ जानते हो रघु क्या कहता है रघु कहता है अपना काम तो सभी करते हैं लेकिन दूसरों का काम करने में जो खुशी होती है जाओ जाओ इंतजार कर रहे हैं रामकांत शर्मा हु इज विच इज प्लेड बाय ए के हंगल इज एन एम्प्लॉय इन दिस ऑफिस दैट इज बीन शोन टू यू and he is very happy right he is he is extremely ecstatic and he is doing work of his colleague as well and the colleague uh, is wanting uh, his balance sheet to be tallied but for the past 2 days he is not able to do so so finally ak hangal manages to uh, tally the balance sheet for him and in this series we will understand how he did it now what is balance sheet so the first question that arises in everybody's mind is this organizations prepare something called as a balance sheet now balance sheet is a financial statement that uh, tells you about a company's assets liabilities and shareholders equity now we will try to look at all three components uh, separately Uh, and understand why they form such an integral part of balance sheet now balance sheet as the name itself is suggesting is something that needs to be balanced right uh, so the first component uh, that we can discuss is assets now assets are uh, divided into three parts the first part is current asset fixed asset and finally other assets now current assets are those assets that uh, that are converted into cash quickly that is why the name current in accounting uh, there is a limit to that quickly that i just mentioned that is one year so within one year uh, the uh, asset would be converted into cash correct uh, so here uh, examples could be cash in hand bank balance inventory uh, accounts receivable these all form part of current assets fixed assets are something that are fixed in nature and takes a longer time to convert into cash that is more than one year right so furniture and fixture plant and machinery Are fixed assets. We come to other assets. So uh, advances to employees, bond issuance, cost, uh, deferred uh, deferrals. Uh, so all these form part of other assets. So uh, I'll quickly take an example to make you understand this. So if I have to start a restaurant, uh, think what would be my assets. So definitely, if I have cash in my pocket, that is one asset. Correct. um i want to open a restaurant so what are my assets my assets would be if i want to make people sit in a restaurant so that will be tables and chairs so that will be classified on the fixed asset furniture and fixture uh similarly i would want some inventory which is your raw material uh that that will be cooked so all my vegetables and uh, kitchen equipment all these are my assets correct because uh, they'll be giving me future benefit and they are my resources 
Hence, this is what an asset for an organization means. What liabilities are. Now, liability uh, is more like a burden that needs to be paid back. Okay. So, you can also remember it through, I am liable to do that. So, there is kind of a uh, liability on you or something that you have to do. So, you are liable. You have a burden on you. So, that is why it's called a liability. So, now let's assume that uh, I'm running this restaurant. I'm unable to... Um, uh, ha you know get more capital so I decide to go to the bank and ask for a loan so the bank agrees and gives me uh, a loan and um, uh, I'm very happy because I got the money but now I have a liability because let's say this 10 lakh rupees that I've got I have to pay it back as well along with the interest Hence, it's a liability. It could be a loan of 5 years, 10 years or 15. That depends on the person who's taking the loan. Um, so, uh, again, liabilities are divided into three parts. Current liability, long-term liability and other liability. Now, current liability is something that needs to be paid within one year's time. So, here what do you need to repay uh, these are all your payables so account payable income tax payable um, all sorts of uh, payables that need to be paid within one year time so that is your current liability now comes the long term liability liability so all long term um, uh, liabilities would be classified under this so all your term loans so all term loans that you've taken from the bank, uh, bond, uh, bond loans, all these things would be classified under long term liability. Is shareholders equity? Now what is shareholders equity? Who is the shareholder? So if I have started my restaurant, I have put in my capital, I took the loan from the bank and uh, those chair table and everything are my resources. Hence, I am the shareholder because I have put in my capital. Okay. So, when profit, when my restaurant earns profit tomorrow, that would also be mine. Correct. If I am not in partnership with anybody, I am a sole earner, uh, sole proprietor. Here, uh, it is all mine. So, shareholders equity means the money that the shareholder has. Uh, now again it has two components share capital and retained earnings so here um, all the money that is left would be part of retained earning after dividend so we've just started a restaurant so let's not go uh, into the dividend aspect right now but the profit that I am earning and the capital everything forms under comes under shareholders equity that means shareholders money now to tally a balance sheet there is an equation that is followed uh, which goes something like this uh, assets is equal to liabilities plus shareholders equity now this equation needs to be balanced and i'll show you the format of a balance sheet right now so that it becomes easier for us to understand what am i talking about um, now the balance sheet uh, is now generally prepared in a vertical format and we will now look at Facebook's balance sheet to understand it better. So here I wanted to take you through the Facebook's uh, balance sheet. So this is readily available on the website itself and you would find this quarterly balance sheet available there. Now, majority of the listed companies prepare balance sheet quarterly because that is the um, criteria and that is the regulation because all listed companies have to report their balance sheet on quarterly basis. Okay, report their financials. So, here uh, let's go through the balance sheet once. Now, this is like I had mentioned, this is prepared in a vertical format um, and uh, the, the three components that I had mentioned are total assets, liabilities, 
and finally you have stockholders equity so this in this format a balance sheet is written so let's quickly look at it uh, what we were talking about so the first head that is mentioned is current asset like i had told you so current assets they have all these um, various current assets and the total of uh, current assets comes out to be for june 30th 2020 is 68130 million dollars okay so everything is in million dollars so you can look at it it's written here and uh, then you have your uh, tangible assets property and equipment these are your tangible assets or fixed assets and uh, then intangible assets are mentioned which are goodwill and uh, some intangible assets to get a detailed information about this you can find this in the annual report of the company you can drill down and you can find different intangible assets for it and finally you have the other assets which are only 2884 million dollars okay now please remember this number uh, this number stands this is the total assets number which stands at uh, 1,39,691 million dollars and uh, this number should be tallying to liabilities and shareholders equity so because that is the equation that we studied asset is equal to liability plus shareholders equity so here we can see again liabilities current liabilities are mentioned which is again 11308 million dollars are your current liabilities um then you have your non current liability which is also called as long term liability and then you you have been given as other liabilities which stand at 8303 and total liability stands at 29244 now uh, stockholders equity that i had mentioned so capital is uh, one of the component and retained earnings so retain loss or profit also forms part of retained earnings so they have uh, shown it separately that's fine and here uh, we see the total of stockholders equity which comes out to be 110447 so you add this to liabilities which are uh, 29244 if you see this comes out to be 139691 million dollars which is similar to what the assets were and you can see the balance sheet obviously is telling so no company releases an unbalanced balance sheet that's that's a given of course so but this is this is the main, this is the format and this is the standard equation through which one can balance this uh, key financial statement all right so i hope uh, you've understood what a balance sheet looks like and how uh, we can use an equation to tally this balance sheet so thank you everybody for watching this video if this video created any value in your life please like share and subscribe the video and don't forget to check out the links given in the description box below this would lead you to the uh, website and the blogs uh, can be viewed by you so you will get all the information that i'm just speaking right now Also you can subscribe to the channel to receive updates every day. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe and take care.